I'm Allison Conti for USTrotting.com. A diverse field of 20 lined up for the 2017 USTA Driving School held in Delaware, Ohio, with one participant traveling from Anchorage, Alaska. Some are super fans, some are owners just looking to know more about the day-to-day. -day. They all have one thing in common, though, love of harness racing. What made you want to come to driving school? Well, um, I'm new to the harness world. It's a new discipline for me, so I just came here to learn as much as I possibly could. I went for a ride with a couple of them and then went to the Red Mile um, and got hooked. Uh, we have six horses this year that we're partners with, and so I love it. It's the best experience I've ever had. How Thank was your you. first drive? It was wonderful. It was a lot of fun. I felt like I couldn't stop smiling, so it was good. Why did you decide to come to the school? I've been trying to come to the school for probably the last five, seven years now, uh, mainly to get the experience. And um, when I was a, a kid, like 10, 12, 13, 14, even like 15, um, when Sportsman's was going, Hawthorne, Balmoral, Maywood, I think I got tossed off of every backstretch trying to find work and just get involved some kind of way and, and get out there. So the schools have always had a, a great lineup of speakers and just the information, I mean, the experience, is, it's invaluable. Actually getting out here and uh, yep. doing it hands-on and then the, the lectures and everything else and just the program overall, it's, it's amazing what they put together here. And there's two things I want to do in life and that was police officer and driver. I ended up achieving one <laughs> and it's that other one that I'm working on now. Um, I think I was like five when I designed my first uh, first driving jacket and I had it pretty much pretty much done by the time I was 10 and it hasn't changed since and that's what these colors are so when I was a kid the uniforms were like super cool like people that like football you know like jerseys well for me those were like the cool jerseys and especially that guys got to customize them and wear them as opposed to thoroughbreds where you wear the stable where you wear your own so there was a lot of especially back then there wasn't a, a whole lot that would be done with them and they were kind of standard you saw a lot of green and gold a lot of red and white red and black stuff like that so um, that's part of the reason I went with black, royal, blue, and red was because I'm like, that's a little different than pretty much everything that's out there that I had seen. But when guys would come in off like a county fair or from somewhere smaller, just a place I'd never seen, it was nice to see a different set of colors out there. Oh, here, stop throwing your head. <laughs> yeah, stop just another quarter. Okay. Right? Especially after a little trip like this. You, you do, you're on your own now. Okay. You got this. Keep her walking. How much you go, Pete? Don't walk. Don't walk. I told him I wanted to go 30. I'll let you look at the watch. 30 flat. Oh, you are still wound up. Take it easy. We're going home. <laughs> Every time we came around that, uh, that far turn there, for some reason, both horses I had today, when they, they got into that turn, wanted to go. And she got on the bit real good. and just wanted to go, so we tried to back her down a little bit the, the first time and then decided to just let her let her do her thing and, and go, and then when we come to the clubhouse turn here, she'd, she'd calm down on her own and slow it down a bit. Yeah, it was good. First real jog, and I really enjoyed that. I really did. Whew. What'd you learn? Well, it's amazing the difference in the feel. You know, there's a lot of power there, and I always suspected there was, but you can really feel it in the lines. When they want to move, they you can feel the pressure. So it was terrific, it really was. Why did you decide to come to the driving school? Well, I own a couple horses, and I have a trainer, and what I want to do is be able to help my trainer more in training my horse. And that's exactly why I came to do this. I've been in the barn with him, but it was, I felt like sometimes I was in the way because I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing. So this way I figure I'll know exactly what I'm supposed to do when I get back. You look okay? It looks great. All right. See how easy that was? <laughs>